Good afternoon and welcome back to T3. In today's review, we'll be having a look at probably the most insane notebook ever made. It is of course the Alienware Area 51. Every so often in the tech industry, you sort of have to stand across from your rival, look them in the eye on the street at high noon and pull out your biggest gun. This is one of those instances. The Alienware Area 51 has clearly been made with one singular purpose in mind, and that is to be the most powerful gaming notebook ever designed. The feature set includes things like Toby eye tracking, overclockability, profiling, game profiling, a user interface that you can literally do pretty much anything with, and just everything, including the kitchen sink, just about has been thrown at this laptop. The 9700K can crack the five gigahertz mark. The 2080 is basically giving the same FPS as what I would see on my main rig. That being a 27 kilogram water-cooled 3950X and 2070 Super. This laptop is able to keep up with that in frame rate and beat it in certain areas. If that wasn't enough, they put in probably one of the best looking tricklet keyboards I've ever seen. A light up touchpad, more connectivity than you could really ask for, and then monitoring of that connectivity. They've also put in their proprietary graphics amplification port. So if the 2080 is not enough, you can still have the external amp connected to this as well. There really isn't anything that would make you go wanting on this laptop, from dual storage options to a 144Hz G-Sync display. This thing ticks absolutely every single box. And it's what I would surmise a company like Bugatti would make if they were looking at making a laptop. It has the 9700K, which obviously doesn't have hyperthreading and it's not going to win any multi-threaded benchmark, but what it will win is single core performance. So much so that it even outperformed my desktop yet again. So if there's anything on desktop from AMD that could even come close to this laptop, it doesn't exist yet. This thing is practically in layman's terms, the most powerful gaming notebook ever designed. And then they finished it in possibly one of the best looking chassis I've ever seen. Now, all of this does come at rather a hefty cost of four and a half thousand USD. But if you're tired of lugging around a PC and you want something that can feasibly fit into a backpack, then this is it. I will say though, you'll get some free leg days of training with a 330 watt and a 180 watt power brick that is needed to make sure that this thing can achieve peak performance. But those peaks are very, very high indeed. So what else can really be said about the Alienware Area 51 besides what? Now the thing is back in the day, we had a very, a very small amount of manufacturers going for this sort of level in gaming notebook. One of them and the early adopters was Alienware and some of their 
Uh, biggest rivals are also an A brand that ends with Seuss. But there wasn't really too many other players in the market trying to go for this sort of level of performance. And Alienware obviously looked across the bow of their ship and saw a whole bunch of enemy craft in the distance and went into the boatyard and came out with a galleon that was toting, well, like 30 guns obviously sticking out of this thing. And yes, it is a boat. It is a very, very big laptop. It is very heavy for a laptop. But it's practically, in a lot of ways, especially when it comes to gaming, my entire desktop put into this package. There is enough connectivity to have two extra displays put onto this. So, and with that graphic amp, you could effectively put in whatever GPU you wanted attached to the system and have whatever display you wanted as well. Imagine a 2080 Ti in an enclosure somehow is aligned with everything that's going on inside of this laptop simultaneously. Just imagine the level of performance. Absolutely mind blowing. The only thing I think that's holding this notebook back from getting even better is the RAM. The RAM is limited to 2800 megahertz on the ordered spec, so you won't be getting 3200 or 3000, you know, beyond that. But everything else is just absolutely jaw-droppingly good. Thank you all so much for watching this review though. We do hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do hit us up with a like and subscribe. Every little bit of support is appreciated. Thank you to all the new people coming through on the channel. We really do appreciate your support and we hope you enjoy your stay. Until next time, I will continue to drool over this absolute engineering marvel and see you on the flip side. Into space. Into space. Into space. Into space.